mamas, it's your Cajun Stork here. Are you dealing with constipation during your pregnancy and you really need some relief? Well, today we're gonna to talk about all the things that I give my midwifery clients on tips for reducing constipation. But before I begin, my name is Midwife Kyra and I believe in truly natural birth because I know that it makes for better birth experiences. Consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and don't forget to download your free copy of my birth packing and supply list in the description below. So constipation in pregnancy is very common. So if you're dealing with it, welcome to the club. The reason why pregnant women often deal with constipation is because of the amazing hormone progesterone. Progesterone is that hormone that makes you feel pregnant. It makes your breasts hurt, um, it makes you feel tired, but it also slows down the bowels. You have to think about like in the caveman days, right? When we weren't eating three meals a day, any bit of nutrients that you were able to get, it was important for your body to absorb everything it could for it, uh, from it. And so progesterone is that hormone that slows down digestion, gives you more time to absorb all those amazing nutrients. Although slower digestion increases your nutrient consumption, in today's modern society, the longer the bowels sit, the more toxins you're actually absorbing um, from the stuff that you eat as well. So it's really, really important that we can keep your bowels moving during your pregnancy. Progesterone and constipation can have a pretty negative effect uh, on our pregnancies and sometimes even require trips to the ER. So I'm gonna to talk to you about some of the tips I give my pregnant moms to deal with constipation during pregnancy. I know that the idea of diet and exercise has been way overplayed, and I'm sure you don't wanna hear it again. But honestly, my number one tip for constipation, which I do see a tremendous benefit from, is diet and exercise in pregnancy. Now, exercise works because the, the 30 minutes a day of moving your body encourages that movement in your bowels to get things moving and kind of helps move things along. In addition to that, though, a really good diet, and I'm talking a diet high in fiber, green leafy vegetables. I know, I know you don't want to eat green leafy vegetables, but it's so important. High in fiber, things like berries, uh, nuts and seeds, bananas, things like that. These are all things that can keep things moving for you in your pregnancy. So in my practice, when a woman comes to me and tells me she's been dealing with constipation, my first question is, were you constipated prior to pregnancy? How often do you move your bowels? And that can give us a clue on what kind of dietary changes we may be needing to make. If you just will not eat green leafy vegetables, there are some supplements that you can take to supplement green leafy vegetables. For example, alfalfa. Alfalfa is a natural supplement that you can often take during pregnancy. Of course, talk to your doctor or midwife first. That not only can help move the bowels, but it's a sneaky way to get in green leafy vegetables and it improves your iron levels. Look at your diet. Write down everything you eat for a week. See how, you, how it really looks. Because once you're looking at it, you tend to hold yourself a little bit more accountable and realize, oh my gosh, it's not as good as I thought it was. So diet and exercise, number one. Number two, hydration. Again, I'm sure you're tired of hearing that too. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. An easy way to know how much water you're supposed to be drinking each day is to take your body weight in pounds, divide it by two, and that would be how many ounces you need. So if you're 140 pounds, you divide that by two, that's 70, you'd be drinking 70 ounces of water each day. Now for any time that you're gonna drink a cup of coffee or um, a soda, for every one of those, those do not count as hydration. You have to drink two more cups of water to combat those. So when you're counting your ounces, only count water or medicinal teas, but that's it, nothing else. Other things that you can drink that might improve your constipation would be like a warm tea, which would like a warm red raspberry tea, for example. It's the warm hot liquid that can make things flow. And also I had a client who had a tremendous benefit from drinking warm lemon water. Um, first thing in the morning, right when she'd wake up, she'd squeeze a lemon into her water and she says it moved things so quickly. Supplement wise, um, there are safe medications that you can take during your pregnancy to get your bowels moving, but as a midwife, I always recommend that we would jump into supplements first because chances are you're lacking something. So number one, my supplement recommendation would be magnesium, also known as Natural Calm. You probably heard me talk about Natural Calm in my stress relief video, so not only is it good for stress relief, but also it's a magnesium based uh, drink that can help move your bowels. In fact, it's one of the benefits of it that I give to my moms. Um, something else that you can do is increase your vitamin C. 
So you should be taking at least a thousand milligrams a day and some moms might take more, but be sure you're doing this under the guidance of your midwife or your physician. Higher doses of vitamin C can actually move your bowels as a side effect. Um, personally, I prefer the magnesium, but vitamin C is also another way. And as I mentioned earlier in this video, alfalfa can be one of those things that move your bowels. So I'm gonna put a link to all of those items in the description below so you can find them um, if you're looking for them. But those are some tips that I have for that. Now, when do you worry about your bowels not moving? So, as I said earlier, the longer food sits in your digestive tract, tract the more you're absorbing nutrients first and then eventually toxins. With that said, I really like my moms to move their bowels every day, and if not, at least every other day. However, if you're making it to day three and you haven't had a bowel movement, it's probably time to consider an enema. And definitely by day four, you need to go to the ER. You can get a Fleet's enema at any CVS or store, pretty much anywhere. And in general, it's relatively safe to use in pregnancy. Although I know what you're probably thinking, I've heard of people using enemas to induce labor. So again, be sure you talk to your doctor or your midwife about this. But the benefit of getting the bowels moving oftentimes will outweigh the risk of an enema if you're severely constipated in pregnancy. What you need to know is if you resort to an enema and you do not move your bowels, you need to go to the ER because there are times that constipation and pregnancy can actually get impacted. Your bowels will get impacted and you'll need some medical assistance. Now, what about iron supplementing? I know that iron supplements tend to cause um, constipation. However, if you watched my anemia in pregnancy video, which I'm gonna post right here, I have listed several iron supplements that you can take during pregnancy that won't cause constipation. In fact, why don't you follow me over there and we can go watch it together. Bye-bye.